Welcome to your mnemonic trial account. Once you've created your account, you can either create audits or compliance obligation registers, otherwise known as legal registers. During the sign up process, you will have been prompted to create a facility. If you have not yet created a facility, you can do so by clicking on create facility to the right here. If we want to build our first compliance obligations register or legal register, you have a couple options. You can do it by clicking on the button here, or you can click here where it says create your first compliance obligations list. Let's click on that. And let's say we want to create an environmental and health and safety register. We can say EHS. We'll select our main facility as well as the jurisdictions that we're interested in. You can then select the industry. General industry applies to nearly all businesses. If you're looking for industry specific information such as mining, oil and gas or chemicals, please contact Mnemonic. You can then select the type of documents you would like to include in this register. You would usually start with legislation and perhaps notices. You can also track industrial standards. And if you would like, you can upload internal documents such as permits, certificates, policies, and procedures. You can also indicate the legislation statuses that you would like to include in your register, such as published, enforced, and repealed. Mnemonic also offers proposed legislation or proposed regulations. For more information, please contact our team. Here you'll select the EHS and other topics that you would like to include in this register. For the purpose of this example, I'll select environmental management, air emissions, wastewater, and then just a couple safety topics. You have many options here, and Mnemonic covers a wide range of topics outside of EHS, such as privacy, cybersecurity, HR, and other issues. You can then indicate who's responsible for this register and how you want to sort the information. Let's go ahead and click on Add Documents, where we'll be taken to the Mnemonic Library, which contains over 500,000 documents. From here, we can now select the documents we'd like to include in our register. Many of these filters have already been preset based on the previous page. We have our jurisdictions, industrial sectors, document types, and topics. This still provides a list of over 300 documents that could potentially apply to this register. To further streamline this, we recommend looking at the essential documents, which are the most important EHS documents in any given jurisdiction. Our team pinpoints these and then extracts the specific obligations for those documents. So I can click here on essential documents and then select that. That will further this reduce this list down to just three pages. For the purpose of this demonstration, I can select all these documents. To learn more about a document, simply hover over the little eye icon. Um, you can see the modified date, published date. So let's select these documents and uh, click on the right hand side here, add to CO. This will then add all the documents to the register and it could take a couple minutes for them to show up. So let's just give it 30 seconds for these documents to load and we will refresh this page and we should see the documents in the legal register now. So these are all the various documents we just selected. You can always add more documents by clicking on the right hand side here. You can add a row with just a piece of information. You can add your own fields as well as manage the system fields. So let's say I wanna see the descriptions directly in this table. I can click on manage system fields. And here I can say, I wanna see the descriptions of all the regulations and documents in this register. I'm gonna click on save. And when this page reloads, we'll now have the descriptions right here in this table. So you can personalize the legal register based on your own needs. As you go through these documents, you can indicate if you would like to track them for changes. You can indicate your assessment. Are they applicable, not applicable? Do you feel you're in compliance? We can click on save and enter a note. Every time you enter a note, it creates an assessment history. And you can also create internal actions that you would assign to specific people uh, or teams. You simply click on the plus icon and you can enter the action information such as please review this document. You can also have it repeat. So if there's a reporting requirement or something that you need to do within your organization, you can have it repeat at a frequency of your choice. This legal register will then get updated as the regulations are changed and as new regulations come out. You will receive the updates on the external actions page up here on the top left hand corner. You also have a series of reports where I can click here on reports on the top section and see all the new and updated documents within a given jurisdiction. So for example, 
in your trial account if you would like to see all the documents that have changed recently in the jurisdictions that you've selected. You simply click on this report and once this loads, we're going to see all the changes in Canada and Manitoba, which were the jurisdictions we indicated we were interested in when we signed up. This report can further be filtered by publishing authority, by jurisdiction, document status, and change type. You can always export this report to Excel as well as print it in a PDF format. This allows you to see all the amendments, new documents, and repeals that have taken place. There's a variety of other reports, but if you're interested in those reports, please have a look at our YouTube channel and the videos that are located there. This video was simply to show you how to build a legal register and how to make it your own. If you have any questions, please contact us, info at mnemonic.com. Thank you so much and have a great day.